Thanking God for who he is, what he has done, and for what he has given us is something people have been doing for a very, very, very long time. You could say that the people in the Bible make up this super long parade of thanks, and it's up to us to keep it going. There are so many people in this parade of thanks, like Miriam. Remember when she thanked God with music and dance after the Israelites crossed the Red Sea? And then there's Hannah. She thanked God for the son he had given her with a beautiful prayer. Oh, and Jesus. <laughs> yes, Jesus looked up to God and thanked him for food before giving it to others. So many people, so many thank yous. And we want our preschoolers to continue this parade of thanks by teaching them, I can thank God for everything, literally, everything, their light up shoes, their new toy, their old toy, their snack, their favorite rock, <laughs> everything. And there are so many other people in this parade of thanks to help us teach our preschoolers this month, I can thank God for everything. We will begin week one with Naomi, Ruth, and Boaz. They will show us that we can thank God for our family. Naomi and Ruth certainly had their ups and downs when it came to family. After Naomi's husband and sons died, one of which was Ruth's husband, all they had was each other. But they were family, and they were thankful. Later, God added Boaz to their family, and again, they were thankful, so thankful. Week two, David and Jonathan will show us that we can thank God for our friends. Tough times can make us even more thankful for our friends, and David and Jonathan had their share of tough times for sure. But they remained faithful to each other and thanked God for their friendship. Week three, we will hear the story of someone who was very thankful for food, Moses. You see, after Moses led God's people out of Egypt, which was a lot of people, they all began asking him for food. There was just one problem. There was no food, none, not one bite. But God did what only God can do and provided meat that night and bread in the morning. I can almost hear Moses exhale of relief. Woo, thank you, God. We will end the month with music and dancing as we learn about the time David praised God with his own parade of thanks. We don't have to wait for a certain time to thank God. We can thank God for everything all the time. Morning time, let's have a parade. Lunch time, let's have a parade. Bedtime, let's have a parade. Yes, any time is the right time for a parade of thanks because we can always give thanks to God. So let's make sure the parade of thanks that God's people began so long ago continues with us and our preschoolers as we choose to thank God for everything.